everybody, I'm Den Herring. Welcome back to my channel, Fish Den 365. Today we're going to be talking about how and when to fish heavily pressured waters. How to become more successful when the waters that you fish are extremely pressured. So here we are, we're in the middle of summer and most of our lakes have all kinds of traffic on them, boat traffic. You've got, depending on the lake, water skiers, jet skiers, pleasure boaters, fishing, fishermen, kayaks, canoes, sailboats, paddle boards. Uh, it seems, at least where I fish in Pennsylvania, more people are utilizing the waters than ever before. And so it, it uh, stands to reason then that we really should do a video on when and how to fish the most pressured waters. You know, recently, it was actually the July 4th weekend, it was Saturday, I believe it was July 3rd, and uh, I went fishing at Beltsville, Beltsville Lake. Now I know what you're thinking, you're like, Den, you must have lost your mind, what the heck is wrong with you? Why would anybody go to Beltsville on July 3rd on that weekend when you know there's going to be a ton of people? But hold on, there's a reason why I went, and, and, uh, and, and it makes sense once you know why the weather, right? It's all about the weather. So the weatherman that day predicted uh, showers and rain and heavy overcast and maybe some thunderstorms. There was a lot of humidity in the air and it was very, very overcast. I didn't get there till about nine in the morning, but uh, there was hardly anybody there. And it was because uh, no one was using the beach. Um, there was only a boat or two out at the time when I got out there. And it was because of the weather. Everybody thought it was going to be raining. And so, You've got Beltsville Lake, that's a very clear water lake, so that dictates how you approach this with pressure too, but that's the number one thing when you're fishing these heavily pressured lakes. I like to pick days that are heavily overcast with some drizzle, maybe some rain in the forecast, maybe even a thunderstorm around. You just have to be careful if one comes in, you gotta get out of there if there's lightning. But uh, I like to pick those kind of days, and sometimes you'll get lucky and you'll have the heavy overcast and very little rain, just maybe some drizzle on and off. But those are the best days to get out on these pressured waters, and, and especially the clear waters, because these clear water lakes, it, they're really good uh, top water lakes, right? They, they're very, very good with top water. But if you have a ton of boat traffic out there and you got all kinds of people buzzing all over the place, you, know, you can kiss the top water bike goodbye, but when there's not a lot of people on the lake and you can get into a calm area, then you can get out there and get that top water bite really going and that's when it gets to be a lot of fun. Now on this particular day at Beltsville, the top water bite wasn't there. I tried, uh, I just didn't do, I just didn't, uh, wasn't successful with it, it just wasn't happening. And the weatherman wasn't completely right either because it wasn't cloudy and, and uh, drizzly and rainy all day. Uh, we had a little bit of everything. We had the clouds and the drizzle. We also had bright sunshine. We had heavy rain. There was a part of the time when it rained heavily on me. It only lasted for about 15 minutes. Uh, and But then it got really sunny for a couple hours. And once that happened, the lake came to life. Everybody and their brother came out there and that changed the bite even that much more. And so that's the other part about it. When you've got the clear water and, and uh, you know, and, and you don't have that top water bite, you gotta downsize, you gotta go to small stuff, you gotta go to finesse. And it's not everybody's favorite, it's not my favorite, but I like to do it and I'll do it when I need to to catch fish. So on this particular day, you know, I started out with a little swim bait, uh, a little swim, uh, swim bait on a jig head, um, and I caught a smallmouth uh, doing that. I didn't catch any big, anything big on this day, but at least I caught some fish. Then for a while there, I was throwing, a, I had to go, it got sunny and bright. I had to go to a three inch Senko and just let that fall real slow and I caught a couple that way. And then finally, I fished a drop shot with a, with a uh, Megabass Hazardong Shad and uh, fished that around and caught a couple that way as well. So it was, uh, you know, it was, at least I got out there and, and it wasn't crazy at first. I, I wish I would have got there at seven in the morning or maybe even six because I think if I did, I would have had the top water bite and I certainly would have had better fishing. It was really dark that morning and uh, as far as I can tell, it wasn't really raining very much. So, uh, but that's one of the big keys, especially for clear water. Make it so that you can fish that top water bite. If the top water bite's not there, think about downsizing, think about finesse fishing, fishing slow, 
Uh, sometimes spoons and blade baits work very well under those circumstances. But you've got to have you got to have the, the right mindset when you're fishing this way. You know, I, I also went to Beltsville on Memorial Day weekend too. Same kind of conditions. It was uh, a Sunday night before Memorial Day. Got a dog barking over there. Sorry about that. And uh, you know, I fished from the bank, and I made a video out of this, so you might remember it. If you don't, I'll at least show the fat the fish that I caught from right from the Pine Run boat launch. I caught a really nice largemouth on a swim jig. So, and again, it was it was cloudy. Uh, it was raining on and off that particular night or evening um, and there just was hardly anybody in the water. A couple couple guys fishing, none of the pleasure boaters are out there. Usually when the weather's nasty, I notice that uh, a lot of the, the guys that like to get out there with their speed boats and pleasure boats, they, they kind of, uh, they don't show up for that. And uh, so that's good for the fishermen because those cloudy days when it's really humid, I like a lot of humidity when I'm fishing this way too. The humidity tends to bring the bait up or at least moves the bait around. Sometimes you'll see the bait on top, helps with the top water bite. And that's another reason why I like that humidity. Sometimes fish will just start busting uh, out in the open or over a point or in a cut somewhere. And, and so if you keep your eye out for that, sometimes you can cash in on that with the top water bite as well. Let's so take a look at how I did that particular day. We'll show you some fish catches. And I uh, just wanted to say I really appreciate you guys watching the channel. Uh, really uh, enjoy doing these videos. It's getting to the point now where I have like a bit of a community with the comments and I, I really enjoy commenting back and forth with everybody. That, that way uh, we all learn, right? I learn from you guys. You can learn a little bit from me. And, and so uh, commenting like that on the videos I always enjoy because it's kind of like a community affair and I get a lot of the same people chiming in and, and giving me their their thoughts, their opinions, their uh, their experiences and I find that extremely valuable and, I'll, and I just enjoy it incredibly. So if you like this channel don't forget to, to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done that already. When you do hit the bell that'll give you a, a notification for when the next video is coming out. Also if you could give me the thumbs up. Give me that uh, thumbs up if you like the video because that uh, that helps me get the videos in front of more people and uh, it's just good for the channel so if you if you be so kind as to help me out with the channel i'd appreciate it we'll be coming out with another video very soon uh, it's going to be a shore fishing video where i actually did a walk in uh, to a pond it was a bust but then i ended up making up for it so uh, we'll get into that in the very next video that should be coming out within a week or so remember we're certified bassified Hope to see you on the water and may God bless your fishing endeavor.